so a lot of you guys have been asking me to go to tj maxx i went to sephora ulta and of course like my other self-care shopping videos at target so now we're gonna go to tj maxx hopefully i can find some like pretty good things there fingers crossed because i feel like tj maxx is either like a hit or miss you know like you either find like a bunch of really good stuff or you find like absolutely nothing so I really hope I find some good things today. I'm super excited. It opens at 10 and I'm here at 9.55 because obviously I wanted to get in there early so a lot of people aren't gonna be there, hopefully. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit in my car for a few more minutes and by that time, TJ Maxx will be open. And yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of shopping. Okay, so we're at the skincare section right now. And then they have the Snail Mucin Power Essence here. I was looking for this in my Ulta video and they didn't have it in stock, but they have it here. So I think I'm gonna get this. And then they have a bunch of like fun lip masks. I've never seen this brand before, but it looks super nice. So I think I wanna get a lip mask. I'm gonna get the strawberry one just because strawberry is like the best. They also have Laneige, the sleeping masks. I don't think I'm gonna get it because I don't really use sleeping masks that much, but like I cannot believe they even have this here. This actually looks so cool. There's like a bunch of different face masks you can use and then they have the applicator as well. So I was gonna get these and then I looked. It's like 50 bucks, so I wonder how much this is like not at TJ Maxx, like at Sephora or something. And then they have a bunch of serums as well. I honestly don't know like a lot of these brands, so I'm like confused what to get. Okay, this looks so cool. It's a lip plumping serum. This is like the brand that has like all of the fun like unicorn like body scrubs and stuff. And $6.99 is so good for this, I feel like. And then they have a bunch of like headbands and stuff for when you do your makeup in the morning. This one is so cute. Do you guys remember when this was like super popular and everyone was using this? I actually used it and it made my skin like break out. So I kind of just like stopped using it, but I feel like a lot of people actually really like it. I don't know, it just like didn't work for me. And I've actually heard a bunch of good things about this brand right here, Kopari. I don't know how you say that, but I like their packaging. It looks really cute. And then they also have Morphe here as well. I haven't really seen much from Morphe. And then they have a bunch of first aid beauty. I kind of want to get something. I don't know what though. These look really cool, but I kind of want to get, like, a cream. I saw this one. I've never seen this in Sephora or anything. Like, I didn't even know they had, like, a peach one. And I don't know if this is, like, for your face or for your hands. Okay, so I love a good face mask, and this is, like, an oatmeal mask. Lush also has one of these, too. But this looks really cool, so I think I want to try this. So I found this. It's, like, an eye-rolling serum. I've never seen anything like this. I already have an eye serum that I got from Sephora, so I don't think I'm going to get this, but I feel like actually rolling it on your eyes is so much easier rather than like spreading it with moisturizer. I remember seeing this on TikTok a while ago. I actually think they discontinued it. So I just smelled this. This smells so good. I think I'm going to get this one as well. I'm literally already buying so many things already. This is so weird, but I really want a tongue scraper. I feel like your hygiene routine is so complete with one of these. And then they also have whitening toothpaste here. I remember seeing this brand a long time ago, and I love a good whitening toothpaste. So this right here smells exactly like the Glossier U perfume. I hate the smell of the perfume, but if you guys actually like it, this is like a really good dupe for it, I feel like. It literally smells identical. And then they also have the Dr. Jart masks here. I already have a bunch of face masks. Whoops. But for $13, it's not bad for five. Since they have the It Cosmetics set thing here, I want to see if they- I want to see if I can find the confidence in a cream. I really hope they have it because that's what I really want. No way. I actually did not really think I was going to find it, but that's actually so good. And then they also have the inky list here. This is the only thing I found from them in here. And then Truly Beauty also has a body lotion in here. I don't know where the top is though. You're going to smell it though. this i feel like is a little too much so they have the amika repair mask i think i'm definitely gonna get this oh wait there's kind of like 
ink on it? I don't know why. I think something like exploded. It's okay. And then they also have some more body butter from Truly Beauty here as well. But I smelled this one, the strawberry hibiscus. This one smells so good. Okay, this is so cute. Like this would be so nice to just carry around in your bag and for five bucks and it has all of these like nail things it's a pretty good deal i was literally talking about this brand in my sephora video and they have i don't even know what this is oh these are acne dots oh that's weird but for 17 bucks i feel like they're already 17 bucks as it is and then they have so many beauty blenders but i really like real techniques i don't even know if they have oh wait it's literally right here. Oh, I have not even seen this one before. This is a prep sponge. You guys, this is literally so cute. Like a little mouse beauty blender. I love that. So I really want to look at the hair care stuff because in my other video, you guys said Pantene is like the worst. So I want to find like another shampoo and conditioner. To be honest though, I don't know if I want to get them from here just because I don't really know most of the brands. Okay, I've actually never seen anything like this before. There's no way. Like, there's actually no way. Like, that cannot work. So yeah, I didn't find any kind of shampoo and conditioner that I want, so I think I might get Way from Sephora. Okay, so now we're gonna look at makeup. I can never really find makeup that I like in here though. I love this. This looks really fun. Bread and Butter from Physicians Formula. I already have their bronzer. It's actually one of my favorites to be honest. And I feel like they've always had the glow kit in TJ Maxx. Every time I come in, they always have this. It does kind of remind me of 2016 though. So I really wanted a setting powder. They also have so many loofahs. I think I want to get one of these. And then they also have so many makeup wipes and face wipes and stuff. Okay, so now we're going to look at the bras. They usually have Calvin Klein in here. I don't know if they still have them because like I said, I haven't been to TJ Maxx in a while. So I haven't really looked. But I thought it'd be, you know, worth a shot to kind of look and see if they have the Calvin Klein bras. I also used to love coming in this section as well. I just love all of like the little organizers and stuff. Like this would be so cute if my desk weren't that small. And I also did not find any of the Calvin Klein bras, which is such a bummer, but it's okay. I really didn't think I was going to, but it's always worth looking, I feel like. Honestly, so upset that I went to Amazon for all of these like organizers because like I totally could have came here and found so much more things. I remember my friend used to have one of these in like the sixth grade and I wanted one so bad with all of like the lipstick holders and stuff. The candles, oh my god, I forgot TJ Maxx had like some of the best candles. This one smells so good. But I have so many candles already that I don't even light, so I don't even know why like I'm even looking. I feel like I've definitely seen this brand before, I just don't know where. I can't tell if I like this scent or not, but I love the packaging. I like how it says Los Angeles. Super cute. These shelves are like holding on for dear life. They're all like tilted. I don't know if you guys can tell. And they sometimes have like super cute jewelry and stuff in here this is so cute but i don't really like gold if this were silver i think i'd get it so i'm gonna go pay for everything right now i think it's best because i'm seeing so many things that i want and i feel like i'm just gonna break my bank so i splurged a little bit. I got a lot of good stuff, so I'm so excited to show you guys a haul of everything that I got when I get home. I actually, I think this is like the most I've ever purchased in a long time, like ever going to a store. Like anytime I go shopping or anything, I'm always like, okay, like I'll get like two things tops, but I, I got kind of a lot today. All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you guys everything that I got at TJ Maxx today. Like I said, I got kind of a lot of stuff. So we're just gonna go through it. I'm gonna like explain to you guys, you know, you guys know the drill pretty much. Okay, first off, we got some loofahs. Obviously, you know, this is what I use 
to like wash with I don't use like a cloth or anything I just really like how these like exfoliate your skin I don't know I also got this chain I like took it out in the car just to like see I might actually return this because it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be I got the snail mucin power essence from Coser X I have been wanting to try this for so long and I'm so glad that I actually didn't get it at Ulta even though it wasn't in stock when I went I'm glad it wasn't because like 17 bucks for this pretty good I actually think it's like 22 at Ulta or something so I saved five bucks but like whatever I also got two of the juicy couture perfumes the Viva La Juicy I smelled these in the car they also smell really nice I literally could not even wait like I had to like smell these these smell so good and then I also got the Kopari Hydrating Body Wash. This smells so good. I kind of took off the little protective thing to like smell it in the store because like, why would I get this if I don't know if it's good, you know? And then randomly, I honestly don't know why I picked this up because I don't really use body lotion, but I got this Hemp Heaven Hemp Seed Oil Strawberry Hibiscus Body Lotion. This also smells really good as well. And I feel like, since this smells like so good, I'll actually want to use body lotion more. And then she wrapped something. What did I get that she wrapped? Oh, okay. I got the lip plumping serum from Truly. This actually just looked so much fun and I liked how it was like in a little dropper. I don't know if it's going to actually plump my lips. I kind of just got this because I thought it was cool and exciting. I actually don't really love the way it smells, to be honest. I got a tongue scraper. And then <laughs> and then I also got whitening toothpaste. I've been seeing this brand everywhere, like the Moon brand. And I love a good whitening toothpaste. Every single toothpaste that I use has to be whitening. Or I feel like it like doesn't do anything. So, yeah, I got like a big thing of toothpaste. It looks like a lotion, kind of. But, yeah, it... It is toothpaste. And then I'm so happy I found the Confidence in a Cream. This is also the small size, which is fine. Like, this is actually, this is actually really small. Okay, how much did I spend on this? Okay, so this is definitely a lot smaller than <laughs> I thought it would be. It's actually like a little bit bigger than a quarter. That's kind of underwhelming. I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting but it's fine, it's not a big deal. And then I also found the Amika hair repair mask. This I am so excited for as well. It's actually purple, I did not expect it to be purple. I thought it was gonna be like white or something, but this, so excited about. I also got the Ultra Repair Oatmeal Mask from First Aid Beauty. Like I said in my Sephora video, I've been wanting to try some products from First Aid Beauty for a while. So I thought the oatmeal mask would be kind of fun. I also got the Revolution Light Yellow Loose Setting Powder. I just kind of wanted a loose setting powder. The one that I have right now is kind of bad. It's the Airspun one. People either love it or hate it. I kind of hate it. So I'm glad I got something else. And then I also got a strawberry lip mask. This kind of gives me Laneige vibes. We're gonna smell it actually on camera. Watch it be like the worst smelling thing I've ever smelled in my life, seriously. Okay, this is actually really big. Wow, okay. This is actually a decent size. So this also doesn't smell that good. Anyways, you guys, that was everything that I got from TJ Maxx. I had so much fun in this video today. I actually found so much good things, as you guys saw. But yeah, since you guys love my shopping videos so much, let me know in the comments down below any other stores you guys want me to go to. I love shopping too, so most likely I will be doing a lot more of these videos. But yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, because that'll really help me out. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video.